JWST is celebrating its first anniversary with one of its most stunning images yet. Let's dive into what we're looking at. This is the Roy Ofiuki Cloud Complex, located about 390 light years away, so pretty close to us when you consider the scale of the universe. This area is where stars are born. You can see about 50 young stars across the image, and they're about the stellar mass of our sun, or perhaps a bit smaller. The lone exception is S1, which is in the lower center of the image, and it's significantly more massive than our sun. The fact that there are no stars in the foreground shows you how close up this photo is. It's about 0.7 light years across, and it's actually a relatively small star forming region. This image from the Space Telescope Science Institute really helps you understand scale, as well as detail the near cam or near infrared camera filters used to process this image based on narrower and wider wavelengths of light. Near infrared allows us to peer through gas and dust, but there are still some areas here that are occluded. That's where the gas and dust are the densest, and there are likely protostars forming inside. The red streaks in the image are jets of molecular hydrogen, which are produced when stars emerge from their cocoons. When a star breaks through its envelope of dust, these hydrogen jets shoot out in opposite directions. Some of the stars in this image are shadowed by disks surrounding them. These are likely protoplanetary disks, which may eventually become a planetary system like our own. Because most of these stars are similar to our own sun, we can not only learn about how our host star came into being, but about the formation of our solar system as well. It's hard to believe this amazing observatory has been operational for an entire year, but here we are. But considering how much cool data and images we've gotten from it, it's also kind of hard to believe it's only been a year.